Hey, everybody, and welcome to Hey Man. I am Josh Wolf. I am Jacob Wolf. This arm won't stay high enough. There we go. What's going on, man? Not, not much. What's up with you? Uh, not much. Good to see you today here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada? Nevada. I say Nevada. You're supposed to say Nevada. Yeah, Nevada's not right. It looks like Nevada, but sounds like Nevada. I, I've, here's the thing. I've always said Nevada before we moved here. So you have? Always. Nevada, to me, it just doesn't sound right. Nevada sounds like someone with an accent trying to say Nirvana. And this just doesn't read. Without the R or the V? That's why I said accent. Because sometimes people <laughs> with certain accents miss certain letters. Um, so, everybody, first of all, thank you so much for... Um, for listening and, and watching the podcast, just mm -hmm. so you know, we have noticed the numbers have, are going up, up, up. The energy behind the podcast is amazing. So thank you so much. Uh, please remember to download and um, rate, rate subscribe. subscribe. There's a lot of uh, cool, um, what are they called? Not not uh, leave a... Uh, review? Review. A lot of cool, sorry, dude. A lot of cool <laughs> reviews. I didn't know what you were even talking about. You know, about. one of my favorite parts of this podcast is when I can't remember something and we try to make me guess what it is. Yeah. Or like when you, like when you tried to guess quantum mania. Yeah. It's so many. The you, seven dwarves. There's so many. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I like that. Uh, but so thank you so much. Um, and just so you know, we're, uh, when you listen to this, we will be in Columbus already. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have the last week of June off. And then we're in Tampa. The Tampa shows always sell out. So if there are any tickets left, I would grab those now. And we usually only do, we usually do three nights. It's only two nights this week or this weekend. It's the 7th and the 8th of July. Tampa, yeah. we can't wait to see you. I hope it's not that hot. Oh, it is going to be ball dripping hot. That's why I said that, not that hot. Yeah. I know it's going to be hot. I'm not excited for it. Um, and yeah, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. And obviously on all my socials uh, at Josh Wolf Comedy. And this dude is... Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram and it's Jake Wolf on Tiki Talkie. That's correct. And Youthful Wolf on uh, Twitch. Yeah, if I ever get back to doing that, streaming, or even playing video games for that matter. Have I told you? Have I told you what happened to me? You, I will tell you, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. I, you have seemed, seemed a bit salty the last couple of days. Yo. <laughs> I have been pretty upset <laughs> today and yesterday, I'm not going to lie. Can I add one thing in? Sure. When you're salty, I want you to know how, not happy it makes me that you're salty, but I laugh. Like, you know, my default is laugh. Yeah, you, you're la your icebreaker is a laugh or something like yeah, that. Yeah, dude, but when you're a little salty, man, it makes me, it makes me, it makes me laugh. But yeah, you know what? It makes me laugh when you're salty, too, because the whole time when you're salty, you're either mad at technology because it's not working oh or, my God, or, you're, or you're hungry. Those are my two favorite ones. Um, So I'm a little upset the last couple of days. So look, I, for those of you who know me, I'm a big gamer, okay? Video games have been my muse forever. Especially like when COVID hit, you know, we bought a PC to share because we were going to stream together and then that never happened, which was totally fine. But I gave you that PC. But you gave it? me the PC and I have, you know, had a, a way to stream and talk to my friends and, you know, play games because it, during COVID, it's what really took me out of my own head. And uh, it, it's been a muse for me for what I can think of as my entire life. Like since I was 13 and you bought me that first Xbox on my yeah. 13th birthday since then it's been something as an outlet for me. Like when I'm in a, in a bad headspace, I do it because I want to escape reality or if like yeah. shit is going wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's what it is for me. So I get on yesterday and I play a game called Apex Legends and it's a game. Apex Legends. Apex Legends. Can I guess what that game's about? You could never guess it. Let me guess. Give me three guesses. Okay. But hold, hold on. You're, are you going to test guess what type of game it is or like what kind of characters are in the game? Because oh, that's very different. I think is if you like it, it's a shooting game. Correct. It is a first person shooter. Okay. And better known as FPS. FPS. First person shooter, just so you know. Oh. Because because your, your angle is first person and you're shooting. So first person shooter. In porn, it's full penis shot. Gross. I don't know, but I'm just guessing. It's not a bad guess. Okay. There's a lot of like porn acronyms that translate over into real life. Like yeah, when, you, you would know. Well, well, look, dude, when people say ATM, it makes me laugh. I'm going to go to the ATM to get some cash. Uh, you know, it's funny. Like I, When I think of ATM, I just think of an ATM. Yeah, not me. I, like uh, The only one that transitions for me that is funny is DP. Yeah, DP makes me laugh. Yeah. 
<laughs> D- <laughs> DP's the only one that I DP can think makes of. me that too. Yeah. Okay, let me guess. And okay, so we'll it is a here. first person shooter. Apex means the top. Okay. Apex Predator is what it's called. Apex Legends. However, Apex Legends. However, Apex Predator is a term in the game. So I am assuming it's the best of the shooters. So you get to pick from like, get, can you be a gorilla? Okay, so pause. <laughs> you're immediately thinking that it's your your characters that you get to choose are animals. Well, one of them, maybe. None of them. Oh, okay. None of them are, are animals. Okay, so are there legends of the game and you get to pick from legends of the game? Cool, okay. Or so is it called, like Tom no, Brady and Peyton no, Manning? So you're right, so you're right. Apex Legends, and Michael right? Michael Jackson and... I mean, just legends throughout. Sure. So Apex Legends, right? So it's not like a collaborative game. Like when you look at Mortal Kombat, right? Like you see... You see people from different universes. Yeah. Uh, it's not like that. So Apex Legends, yeah, the players you get to pick from are called Legends, right? They're all human, though, every single one of them. They're, it's just like a, a futuristic, apo- not apocalyptic, but it's a futuristic game. Uh, do you know what a Battle Royale game is called? Well, Battle Royale, I believe, um, I know what it is because I used to watch wrestling a lot. Like Royal Rumble. Yeah, exactly. But, okay. but I think it was originally maybe called a Battle Royale. It was. It was called the Royal Rumble Battle Royale is what it was called. They went double Royale? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Royal Rumble Battle Royale? I think the beginning, the first ones were just Battle Royale. Maybe back in you know the 1800s. Maybe that's before I started watching wrestling. But when I watched wrestling, it was always the Royal Rumble. <laughs> but, but okay, so yeah. So Battle Royale <laughs> is X amount of people drop into the game at once. Yep. Last team standing wins. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you get to pick from your, your legends, and all these legends have different types of uh, abilities, we'll say. So it's very futuristic. So like the guy I play, his name is Bloodhound. Actually, their name is Bloodhound because in the game, they're actually non-binary. And there's a couple people in the game, in the legends in the game, who have relationships in, you know what lore is? Like if you you start, so it's like there's a lore to this game as well. I know English. Just making sure. Not a lot of people know what lore is. I'm just making sure. So it's very different and very diverse. And the guy I play, his name is Bloodhound. He's a recon specialist, right? So he can, one of the things, I can hit a button and he can scan. And he can send a scan all the way in front of him that goes about three seconds in front of him. If you are an enemy and you get caught in that scan, your body shows up. So I can see exactly where you are for three seconds and choose whether or not I want to fight you, run away, or watch. Hand-to-hand fight? No, go. Guns. Oh, well, okay. I mean, if you don't have any guns, you the only thing you is can do is punch. fighting. Yeah, yeah. So if you if you dro- like you have to drop out of a ship, right, and you have to land in a spot. So if you land in a spot and you land next to a person and neither of you have a gun, you can punch each other to death. Oh, First, that's pretty fun. So it's it's pretty fun. Have you ever done that? Oh, all the time. There yeah. are sometimes when we get to like there's it'll be like me and two teammates because it's only teams of three. Mm-hmm. So it's me and two teammates, and it's me, it's us versus another team. But if we ever find out that it's just one guy, we'll we'll like shoot him till he's really low health. And then we'll all just chase him and punch him until he dies. Until he <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of toxic. <laughs> it's kind of toxic. That is, <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Like it's a whole bunch hey, of fun. I'm sure the guy on the other end is like, "Oh, what the fuck, guys?" <laughs> yeah, it happens to everybody. <laughs> it's happened to everybody once at least. Really? But there's another thing that we'll do. Is Yo, like, you guys are like cats playing with your food. There's another one that we'll do. This one is more fun for me, especially. This is more fun if you're the solo <laughs> guy. Sometimes, if like if I know I'm a solo and there's a team of three coming to fight me, yeah. I'll go out in the open. And I'll just sit there and I'll drop all of my guns. I'll drop my shields. Why? Because it's like kind of an unspoken apex rule for some people. Oh, come fight me? Yeah. Where it's like, if I drop all my stuff, we're the final team. I'm going to drop all my stuff. Come face me like a man. Can I ask you a question? How does the other team know you're not hiding a gun or something? That, that's the thing. It's like, you don't. You have to go up. But also, if you're hiding a gun, your gun only has a certain amount of bullets in it. If you drop, like, so everybody, you can have a shield as well. It's like armor, right? Mm-hmm. If you drop your armor and you have a hidden gun, great. You can shoot me with but it. How, but by the time how you do shoot, people know you dropped your shield? You can see it on the floor. Oh, That's oh. what I'm saying. Like, when you drop all your stuff, it pops out in front of you. So you oh, can okay. see everything that you've dropped. So sometimes, like, if I'm the last guy, I'll drop that, all my stuff and be like, come, you know, come, come face me like a man. Like, mm-hmm. let's, let's fight like a, a man. And sometimes it'll work. Other times, we'll get into it and I'll drop all my stuff and, uh, They'll get up to me and I'll punch one dude and I'll, the dude I'll be fighting, I'll punch and then his two teammates will just kill me. There are other times where I've done it and to where I just, it, it was a 1v1 and there was just two people left and I went out in the open and put all my stuff down. 
and I dropped my shield, but I did that exact thing to where I, I kept one gun in my inventory and he dropped his stuff. And the minute I saw him drop his shield, I pulled out my gun and shot him. So like, it, again, there are toxic ways to yeah. do it. And like, it's fun ways to play. Um, but besides the point, right? So I like playing apex legends. It's been the game I've played since the day it came out about four years ago. Okay. I've played it since day one. Okay. And it's, I'm in, uh, I, I would say I'm at my peak right now. Like right now I am peaking at how well I'm playing. You're at your apex. Correct. I am at my apex right now. See how I did that, everybody. <laughs> so I, I'm playing the best I've ever played. I uh, have grinded in something called ranked leagues. Um, so it's like, you know, you earn points per game and then you rank up in the system. When you said apex predator, the top rank in the game is apex predator. So there's only... And they only allow 750 people in the world per platform. So if I get to an Apex Predator and it gives me a number, that's the best. That's like, I'm like this, I'm like the 750th how best close player are you in the world. To that? Not okay. at all. But I would like to keep playing to find out how close I can get to it. Okay. I went to play yesterday. Yeah. And I went to, you know, my game was like, oh, it needs an update. And I was like, okay, cool. I started to download the update. It won't start updating. And this has happened before to where updates just kind of sit there. And they just kind of fuck around for a little bit. So sometimes uh, you have to like restart your stuff and, and, you know, restart the update. So I did that and I went to do it and nothing changed. So I hit cancel my update. But when I hit cancel my update, Xbox has this awesome feature that when you hit cancel update, it also uninstalls your entire game. Did you know that before? No, uh. because uh, it's never lasted this long to a point to where I had to cancel the update. Right. So then I go back to look to try and update the game and my whole game is uninstalled. And so I then go to install the game. The game won't install. Uh -huh. And I'm like, okay, this has to be fixable. So I'm online yesterday for eight straight hours. I'm on the phone with Microsoft four separate times. And at one point, I get off the phone with Microsoft and my game is updating and my game is downloading and it's at 30%. And I was like, great, fucking awesome. And I was like, brother, appreciate you. You're the only dude who could help me today. You have saved my sanity. Hang up the phone. Two minutes later, it stopped. At 32%. Mm. And it just says installation stopped. Like it just won't go any further. So I I was online for eight hours yesterday thinking of any solutions or anything that I could do. I have exhausted every single outlet and nothing is working to a point where now this is a six month old brand new Series X Xbox. It is the newest generation. It has been on the market for two years. I have never been able to find one in store until I moved to Vegas. And I have it. And now, six months in, my Xbox decides I'm going to shit myself mm -hmm. because nothing is working. Like, I even try to go update the games I already have downloaded so I can play those. Won't update the game either. Huh. So there is nothing happening. On top of Did that, on top of that, <laughs> yesterday, I missed my DMV appointment to register my car because I thought it was today. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Did you, so did you just, try to... <laughs> did you blow on it? That's There's, what we, there, we would take the cartridge. Yeah, but there go. was. There, yeah, so that's like medieval time shit. Yeah, right? but it worked. But for us now, there is no. I don't even have a disc, bro. It's all digital. What? So I download my stores, my game from the Microsoft Store, and download it straight to the hard drive on my Xbox. I don't. There's a disc input. Yeah. But I don't even use the disc input. Why don't you try to go get a disc? I don't even think they sell Apex Legends on disc. There, well, are, so, there are some games they don't sell on disc. Well, listen. We're going to Target right after the show. Let's Are go. we? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. You you got in my car, so you have to run two errands with me. Uh, okay. <sighs> quick ones. Better be quick, because i got to be at the post office by five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we started here, too. Yeah, who knows, though? You say you go in to buy... Last time you said you went into Whole Foods, you wanted to buy three things with a steak. You came out with four bags. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I'm, yeah, not, well, I'm but, not good in the grocery store. I'm going to buy a bunch of shit, but if... I'm not... Look, have you ever gone into a grocery store for one thing and left with just one thing? Yes. You have? Absolutely. Not me. You know what? You know what are those things is? Sometimes when I have no batteries for my Xbox, I'm like, great, I'm going to Home Depot to buy Xbox. To, to buy batteries. The Home Depot is in a grocery store. Oh, the grocery store? Yes. I need to go get milk because that's what Iman needs, or I need to go get something else specifically. Like yeah, here's gonna. the thing. If I'm going strictly for me and I need one thing. I'm grabbing one thing and leaving. Yeah, I'm not. But if that. but and this is just how it works. If I go with my girlfriend and we say, "Hey, we need two things," we leave with a basket. Yeah, because I don't know how that always works, but it always happens. Like, I, 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 there's I, no way. I, I, your mom and I can't walk into Whole Foods for one thing. We walk out with a ton, with a ton of shit. Yeah, a uh, ton of shit. I know. 
Because well, you see things and you go, oh, you know what? We're actually out of that. And then you get home and you're not out of it. You just buy a second one. And that happens all the time. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, lived, I, I, I lived with you for a long time. Yeah. You would go, oh, we need that. And I go, we have a full bag at home. You, you go, no, we don't. You know we what? Come home, it's usually condiments. Like usually, and I'll have like 27 mustards. I'm like, yes, do I have any mustard? And I'll just buy one just in case. So I have like a... <laughs> I like, Fucking I like, hate <laughs> mustard. I hate mustard. I'm going to tell you right now. Mustard might be the worst condiment of all time. You... What? You heard me. Mustard might be the worst condiment ever. Okay. I'll take relish over mustard. What? Yeah. Mustard is the worst. Are you out of your mind right now? No. I mean, look, I'm pretty look, upset I, and, I, and, and uh, upset, but like, I'm I'll, pretty sane still. I'm going to tell you right now that I don't find this controversial at all. Mustard over ketchup all day, every fucking day. Not even close. Mustard. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Can you use mustard as a condiment for everything? No. Do you use mustard when you eat French fries as a condiment? No. So good with French fries. You are, are, I don't know how you and Riley aren't best friends. Riley, who's a buddy of mine. Riley, I'm going to post this and tag you because it, the world needs to know. We have dubbed him a new nickname. Yeah, what is it? Mustard guy. Wow, that's creative. You know why? Yeah, you, re you guys you know really why, dug you, deep in the well for that did one. It, did it need to? You want to know why? <laughs> you want to know why we call what? him mustard guy? He puts mustard on everything? And it's not just a little bit of mustard. Yeah. My man will grab as much mustard as he can fit on. Like, and also, like, he just, like, he doesn't like ketchup. Cool. Yeah. Fine. Whatever. Eat your fries plain or in something else. Why are you dipping French fries in mustard? Do you know what? I've grown to dislike ketchup. That's fine. Because it's too too sweet. There are sometimes I don't like ketchup in my stuff, but there are sometimes that I'll mix some mustard and mayonnaise together. Yeah. You heard me. Dip a little French fry in that. Ketchup and mayo. mayo. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Ketchup. I'll do ketchup, mayo, and relish because that otherwise known as Thousand Island dressing. You mix mustard with mayo? Yeah. Mustard is so much better. Dude. False. Okay. False. That's not. False. Okay. False. What do you put on a hot dog? Mustard. Just mustard? You just... Well, hold on. Hold on. I might... Wait, 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 wait. You're just... Now, I'm not asking if it's like the side cart where it's like a bacon-wrapped hot dog or there's onions or veggies... Just strict condiments. You're putting solo, solo dolo mustard on a hot dog, and that's it. Well, I have to tell you, I don't eat it just one way. Sometimes that's I don't. What she said, "I don't." <laughs> 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 Sorry, keep going. Sometimes I like. Uh, I look, dude. I'll mix it up. Uh, sometimes I do mustard and ketchup. Sometimes I do mustard. Sometimes I do mustard mayo. Sometimes I do cream cheese. Sometimes I do. Wait, also, didn't you say I was crazy for putting mayo on a hot dog one of these podcasts? Yeah, but in combination, not just straight mayo, you fuck. On no, your mayo. I know. I go mayo and ketchup. Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, the fact that you would mix mustard with anything other than mustard and the trash can is crazy. Yeah, dude, you, your palate is better yeah. than yours. Listen, the only thing I wouldn't, I would, like, I'm not putting mustard on eggs. I'm not putting ketchup on eggs either, though. Some psychos do. Yeah, but we're on the same page with that. You don't put the only thing that you I'm put putting, ketchup on a sandwich. No, but you can put mustard on a sandwich. Mayo on a sandwich and ketchup? mustard. Fuck mustard. Okay. Ketchup doesn't go on a sandwich. Listen, mayo I, does. I, when I we play Clue next, I'm gonna be Colonel Mustard. And I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. Can I you can't. be Colonel Mustard? No, I don't think you can be. I got dibs on being the Colonel then from KFC. Yeah, dude. I put Colonel Mustard up against Colonel. Sanders in Colonel, a fight. Colonel Sanders would beat the shit out of Colonel in a Mustard. In fight. Absolutely. Colonel Mustard is a military man. You want to fight a man with that kind of mustache? I don't think Colonel so. Colonel Mustard is a straight up military man. Colonel Sanders, Colonel Sanders is just some old dude who came up with spices. But you that's here's the thing. That's only the surface of his life. You don't know anything else about it, do you? No. Exactly. Look I at that know, mustache. That mustache kills people. I do know that I got high on mushrooms one time and got on the roof of KFC and really tried very hard for um, the colonel to talk to me. Can I ask in what state you were in? Texas. Okay. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Nobody nobody cares. No, no, no. They don't no. really care. No. Um, but dude, I'm sorry that's happening with your Xbox. It's just frustrating because I look, 
Yes, a hundred percent. It is a first world yeah, problem. Yeah, I don't buy into that shit. Dude. Yeah, and again, like a lot of you are saying, it's just a video game. You can go do other things and find a different muse, and there are so many worse things that could happen, and so many other people are struggling. Yeah, look, I get that. And guess what? I guess what? This is what I am choosing right now to be upset about because I, this is currently what is uh, happening to me, and it is frustrating as all hell because guess what? Usually when this shit happens, there's a solution and I know there is and I usually figure it out. I'm so exhausted. I've exhausted every single outlet to a point to where I am thinking about quitting playing video games. I will tell you something, dude. First of all, I don't think you should do that. But I, I don't want I, to. I 100% reject and anybody ever telling somebody oh, you shouldn't be mad about that. It's not up to you to pick and choose what other people are mad about. Right. And what's important to you may not be important to them and vice versa. Like mm -hmm. somebody might be like, what's the big deal? Is this a video game? But somebody else might collect, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what, what's that thing called? Okay. Let me guess. You know, when you stuff animals, hold on. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, don't, 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 There's don't, a couple real animals or plushies. Uh, real animals. Okay. Because the first thing I thought of was Build-A-Bear. No, 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 no. It's called, it's not topography. <laughs> That's a map. I know what he's talking about. Do you know what he's talking okay. about? Okay, I do too. Hermography? <laughs> no, yo, T was the right start. It was? Yes. Telology. Hold on, I gotta <laughs> say it a couple times. <laughs> By T the way. Tomology. No G. There's oh. no G in this word. There's no G at the end? There's no G. It's not G-Y. Term it, term it, Ely. Terminally ill no, is what you might be uh, after hold this. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Every, by the way, every time we do this, I feel like he has another stroke. <laughs> it's like every time this one he has some know. sort of like well, fucking. I keep going back to topography, but that's not it. Is it? Is there a P in the word? No. Mm. T -t -t -la, t -la -la -la. Tilapia. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, is there a Y at the end? Yes. Oh, it's something like termiography. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> No, but wait, wait, wait. No, wait, it's wait. not. Wait, wait, it's wait. It's not wait, that wait. at all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I close my eyes to try to see the word, but is it T T T E though, right? No. T E T A. T A? Ta ta la mama. Ta <laughs> Tikka Masala. T Give me T A what? X. Taxidermy. There you go, right? Yeah. Taxi T A X. Yeah. Uh, by the way, had I not said X, you we could have gone the whole oh, entire dude, podcast. I would have never got that. Never Holy got shit. It. That was awesome. But my point being, Woo. some people like Steve Carell in that movie, like little taxidermy mice. And somebody would be like, well, you're more movie. Uh, he was in a movie where he made, he dressed up taxidermy mice. It was either. Are you sure it's not the night? The, oh, that's Ben Stiller. It was either. I was going to say night at the museum because all those are wax statues and figures. I think it was the movie with him and Zach Galifianakis. Or it was a movie recently where he was a war veteran. One was a comedy, one wasn't, but it was one of those two. I don't, but it was I don't him. Know. But my was it Steve Carell or Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks never stuffed mice. I was thinking about that weird, the auto movie he was just in. That's what I was thinking of. That might be the first Tom Hanks movie right when the ads came out. I'm like, not seeing that. I see clips of it on TikTok all the time. And I'm like, this looks like the dumbest thing ever. It's just a story that's been told a gazillion it, times about the old cranky dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I got to be honest, also, I, I like Tom Hanks for specific characters and specific roles that he plays. That role that he was playing I, did not fit what I wanted to go see him in. I love Tom Hanks. I think he's amazing. I'll... Pretty much go see him in anything except for the auto movie. Let me just get back to my point. Sorry. That's all right. People don't... Doug Stanhope used to tell a joke, where, and his the point was, you don't get to compare sucks. Yeah. What sucks for you is in your world. Right. That's what's important to you. So, I, I, I yeah, I reject that. So, you're allowed to be upset about whatever the fuck you want to be yeah. upset about. So, uh, I'm upset about that, but maybe I'll come try. Maybe, for some reason, it might be my internet, which... Wouldn't make Come any sense. Come over tonight and plug it in and let's see what happens. Okay. Um, dude, Maybe also if we go to Target, I will go to the electronics section and see. Yeah. But well, here's the we thing. We are going to Target. But here's the thing, and here's why I don't think How that... How do you know we're going to Target? Did I just say that? You've already said it. Shit. <laughs> By the way, and guys, I want it. People are like, that's the weed. I'm not even neither of, neither or of smoking, us are high. Or I'm not... I, I'm not... This is the least that I... Weed I've put in my body for like the last... Since November... 20 years. Like I am, I am, I am light with the weed. Right. You texted me last night. Can I say what you texted me? 
Yeah, I know. I wanted one really bad. Yeah, yeah. He texted me last night and he goes, how much do I have to pay you to roll a blunt and bring it to me? But I was so invested with what was happening with my Xbox. Yeah, that's why I didn't fuck with it. I didn't even I, I didn't even see the shit happen. But that should tell you how little I've been smoking. I don't have any weed at my house. That's crazy. Is that crazy? Yeah. I don't have if if I wanted to get high, I would have to go somewhere. Good and thing that, I good thing I live right down the street. Yeah, I know, like your house. Yeah. Uh, but so but also like uh what, what what were we talking about prior to that? I don't know. Oh, Target. Here's the thing. Why I know there's not going to be a disc for Apex at Target. You yeah. want to know why? Why? It's a free to play game. I don't know what that means. It's free. It's well, a I free. Should, it's I a probably f- should have been able to figure that out. Free but. to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I fucking stutter? <laughs> free <laughs> to play. Yeah, I should have been able to figure that out by myself. Game. Yep. Free to play. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, you might <laughs> just so, a couple That's why there's not going to be a disc at Target because they don't sell it because it's free, free to, play. to play. Yeah. Um, cool. FTP. Yes. Okay. Um, You're trying to figure out what acronym that would be in porn? I already know. Do you? Free the penis. <laughs> why, why does everything... FPS had penis in it? FTP Pe- had penis in it? Well, what else do you want? Uh, the penis well, could be pussy, too. Yeah, but I don't have one of those. That's, that's true. That's true, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But So my instinct... It's like if... It's like... You know, I think if you're a man or a woman, right? When I go... Like, say... Uh, say... Instacart's coming over. Okay. And it, I'll say, well, the dude hasn't shown up yet. But your mom will be like, she hasn't shown up yet. Oh, immediately? You guys immediately assume it's a person? Or like the same sex? Yes. Oh, not me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I say they haven't shown up yet. Oh, yeah. Well, you're... Get you're, with the program. You were... You're, get with the program. Your generation's more progressive <laughs> than we are. Yeah, get with the program. Uh, all right. So I'm going to ask you something. Your mom and I... Sorry. We're talking about something today. Was this today or yesterday? It doesn't matter. You guys, you, you guys were talking about something. And I thought maybe something fun for to start doing on the podcast was to like think about things that were important to us growing up or that were like lore or whatever that I don't know that affect you. So do you, like if I said we were scared to fly over the Bermuda Triangle, would you, do you have any eye? Do I know what the Bermuda Triangle is? Yeah. Because it's not a thing anymore, I don't think. What you mean it's not a thing? Is it still it's a thing? It's got the most, recu- that s- square spot of area yeah. off the coast of Florida. Florida? I feel like the tip of it's pretty close to Florida, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have any idea about geography. I'm, like I, if you, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that the tip of the Bermuda Triangle, or the tip of it, like where you were to map it out, yeah. comes off the coast of Florida. The tip comes off the post. I don't think Bermuda. The, the Florida already looks like the tip, but that's beside the but point. Like, I don't. Is 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 Ber- Bermuda near Florida? Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. It can be Caribbean, Caribbean. I'm telling you, Caribbean is how Google, the Google Carib- where Caribbean Bermuda. is how white people say it. the Caribbean is where the yeah, Google Google. Hold on, Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda. It's they're gonna say it's near Bermuda, which isn't gonna help us. But I would Google what part of the United States is Bermuda closest to. Fucking Florida, dog. I'm looking at it right now. The tip of the Bermuda Triangle is sitting at the tip of Florida. Get the fuck out of here. And you knew what that was? Uh the Bermuda Triangle has the most I recorded know. shipwrecks, disappearances, planes. <gasps> Dude, everything are vanishing in the Bermuda Triangle. What about the that Titan, the submarine. submarine, bro. Okay, hold on. Do you want to hear what? So we've been we've been thinking like Iman and I, my girlfriend, have been so invested in this story. First, first of, of all, all, only one bathroom. Uh, first of all, I'm telling you right now, the dude who set up that thing is the only one left alive still on that ship. Why? But you the, heard they they heard some banging. They heard banging right at 30 minute intervals. Cool, great. Go find him. How are you going to be able to triangulate where the fuck that is? Yeah. That could also only mean that there's one person left. Why? When there's five of you in a small space, oxygen goes faster. What happens when four of you die? Oxygen lasts longer. You think he killed four people? I think he, I'm going to tell you right now that when, if that thing hasn't already self imploded and is sitting at the bottom of the ocean, yeah. when they would, if they ever bring it to the top, there will be one person left alive. First of all, if there are four dead people in that submarine, that tiny little thing, do you know how bad that fucking thing smells? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, it, it's going to be bad. But my thing is, is like, also, they, oh, ah. they, they also showed 
they were saying like when they tested it, one, the dude who put them all on that ignored a bunch of safety precautions. Two, there is legitimately, even if they were to want to get out of it and let it sink and swim to the top, they can't. It's dude, physically they, impossible. They can't swim from where they are. No, but you know what I yeah, mean. Like yeah, even yeah. if you wanted to get maybe a, like like if someone decided like, hey, I'm gonna float to the top. Or not, I'm gonna float to the top, but like no, a the, body will float to the yeah, top. Yeah, that's yeah, not how no, that's no, works. No, no. But yeah, there's a did you also see the billionaire that's on there? His stepson posted a picture of himself at the Blink 182 concert. Yeah. Here's the thing. You know, you know why that doesn't shake me? No, because rich people are weird. Right. But also, like, here's my thing. Like, look. And it's if, a steps. <laughs> yeah, and it's a steps, and that's a great point. But here's my thing. If, like, for me, if you were missing. Yeah, but I'm your dad. I don't right, know but, how long but, these guys have been together in their right, lives. Right, right, but you're also, right. You're right. But it, I would pay me panicking. But also, if it was like, yo, I'm not going to miss this concert, I'd probably go radio silent about it. I wouldn't go posting about yeah. it. And then in your caption saying, my parents would have wanted me to be here instead of drowning at the bottom of the ocean. Like, Is that what they said? No, but that's oh. pretty much what he implied. He goes, well, Wait, he goes, are, is his mom there too? No, maybe it's just his stepdad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. Like, the fact that he would say, you know, I, a lot of people, like he even started it with, a lot of people might hate me for being here, but I know my parents would have wanted me to be here because music helps me in difficult times. And like, I get that. I'm kind of with them. Like, I, I am. Like, I get it. You still need to do things to take it off your mind because what are you going to do? Sit and panic yeah, in your house all yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, starting it with, even, like a lot of you are going to hate me, him knowing that there's some sort of moral wronging in there but still decides to post it. Like, great. Music helps you in difficult times. Same for me, brother. I understand it. Why'd you post about it? I'm with you. Here's the why, thing. Like, why post about it? Why not just go radio silent about it here, and here, be fine? I'm with you. Because so all the, the th memories are still the same. Here's the thing. I, I agree with you. I, I 100% look, man, when I die, it, I, I don't want people not doing things, not living their lives. I don't want you... Yo, dude, I lived. I... I know just because of how it's already gone. I've had a great life. Yeah. This is a something to, and everybody dies. Mm -hmm. And so cool to be bummed. I would, if, if, if you told me, man, I didn't go to a J Cole concert because I would have said, dude, go to that fucking J Cole concert. Now I agree. Probably posting the pictures is where I would have drawn the line. It's almost like but it's just a little insensitive on his part. But kinda. your generation, I don't feel like has a good, gauge of it's post everything not all of you but uh, there's a bunch no, of you no 100 100 right? so it's like everything is shareable e even him knowing that he was gonna get shit he still posted it but he felt like he needed to share that it's such an overshare it's almost generation. it's almost why i've really stopped posting on social media a whole yeah. bunch because i feel like <clears throat> sorry the generation has become so much of Y'all have to see everything that I'm doing. It's like, I agree. nah, not really. Like, I, I really just don't feel the need for you guys uh, to know where I am at all times, what I'm doing at all times. Like, I, I if used, you want to know and you know who I am, text me. Yeah. Like that. That's always been my thing is like, people are like, oh, I DM'd you on Instagram. Why haven't you responded? I'm like, brother, you have my fucking phone number. We're yeah. talking right now. Why not just call me? You like, really what? have never been an over poster. No, I, I was, I was big into posting, um, Probably, I would say high school, a little bit after high school. Yeah. I would say high school a lot, though, because in high school, I gained a lot more Instagram followers than people did a little more rapidly. Um, and this was back when people were like, oh, take a picture with me and shout me out. And so I got a lot of people like, I got a lot of posts for doing that. That was after you had that post with Selena Gomez and Vanessa Hudgens well, saying happy birthday to you. Right. But before everybody freaks out, let me clarify. I was not in the photo. Nor no. was I with them. No. Nor have I ever spoken to them. It didn't matter. It dude. was just a picture of them backstage at Chelsea holding up two signs, one that said happy birthday and one that said Jacob. Yeah. But it was still awesome. Yo, dude, that, Yo I, I got followed by, by Selena Gomez fan pages, Vanessa Hudgens fan pages. I got people DMing me going, oh my God, how are they? You know them. Are they doing okay? And I'm like, yeah, Guys, yeah. do you even see me in this photo? Yeah. <laughs> like, granted, they were all like <laughs> younger people, but I was and like, hey, hey, hey. I was like, hey, hey, do you see me in that? Like, does at <laughs> this point, you would just Photoshop. They'd be, you could just Photoshop whatever you want into the picture. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But so, yeah, but it, it, so that was a lot more of me posting, but also like in, you know, in high school and after I was in relationships where I was. Uh, n not forced, but it was like, it was like, 
yo, post that picture. Yo, post that picture. Yo, don't post that picture. My girlfriend now, obviously, like I'm posting, yeah. but I'm not posting every picture. If you go back to a certain point in time on my Instagram, it's just straight girlfriend posts. Yeah. Nothing else. And I I didn't want to do that anymore. But also there are some times where there are sometimes when we're on the road or not on the road for two weeks and I sit in my house for two weeks. Yeah. And there's just nothing that's happened for me to post. Guess what? I'm I'm really proud of you not being an overposter. And at the same time, I'm gonna have to ask you to start posting more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we yeah. Yeah. We're getting traction. No, no, I, yeah, yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. But I will say this, man. But yes, I do know where the Bermuda Triangle is. I think people get good. Okay. I think people get I think it's easy to get lost on social media. It's clearly when the more research, especially things like TikTok, are this quick, quick dopamine boost, boost, and it gets addictive. I think people lose who they are um, because they're constantly looking at other people's lives, right? And which makes them self conscious. Yeah, but also it puts you in the worst place possible, which is in comparison, right? And and competition. And I think competition is good, but the only person you should ever be competing with is, is yourself. yourself. Yeah. I will tell you something, man. One, you Unless you're playing in an actual sports game, then you're competing with other people. Yeah. But but I will tell you, the one thing that I do wish from this podcast for you is I want... Obviously, I love coming and hanging out with you and shooting the shit and chopping it up. Right. But I want you to develop a sense of who you are, what you think... And not to be scared to voice it because, listen, man, people are going to judge you no matter what you yeah. say. So you might as well have them judge you for what you really believe. I want you to, to, I want you to, and even when you're getting on stage, your point of view, Rick Rubin said this in a podcast with Jay Shetty, show me how you see it. That's what right. I'm interested in. That's what makes you you. Show me how you see it. And one of the things that I want for you that it, it, it's one of the things that I, I just learned maybe four or five years ago. Right. And one of the things that I want for you more than anything. And one of the things look, man, you know, sometimes your biggest positive is also your biggest negative. Right. And, uh, one of the things that I want for you is to, um, to not worry about what other people think. To not feel like, you know, I feel like one of the things that I pass down to you is, oh, I, oh, when I walk into this room, I'm in charge of making sure everybody's having a good time. Like, mm -hmm. making, making sure that everybody thinks I'm happy all the time. Right. And like, nobody's uh, happy all the time. Right. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure on you. And when you're faking being happy, when you leave that situation, you're even more unhappy than when you Yes. Start. And yep. so, so what I really want for you, man, is I want for you to develop the confidence. And it's not easy, dude. It's not easy to put other people's opinions in the rear view. But as soon as you do and you realize how inconsequential they are. You know, I used to go on social media. I used to read a lot of comments because I was mm -hmm. like, I'm reading comments to reply. <clears throat> and when I look at it now, I was really reading comments. I did want to reply. But I'm uh, reading comments to... See how many people didn't like you? Get validation and also see who didn't like it. Right. And I would, you know, I would go back and forth with people. Mm -hmm. And if you're on my page right now and I happen to see a comment, and it's very rare now that I do, I, I, I'll spend like an hour, but I have usually somebody going through, and I if, if you say something douchey, if I see it or the person who... Nobody responds for me. Right. But I'll have people, I'll go, hey, clear out all the shit. I don't want that energy on my page. Right. But if you, it's, I don't say anything back, you're, the comments are raised and you're blocked. Mm -hmm. it, it be just because life is too short, man. And, and like, I, I don't, I don't want to vibrate to that. Right. And, and um, I know some people might think, well, why do you, you're supposed to not care what other people think? It's not that I care what they think. They're not affecting me. They're just annoying. It's the it's the it's the good vibe. Yeah, I want people to come to my page and be like, "This is fun." Right, right. And so, I think for you, the, what I would love for you to be able to do is to just and I'm starting to do this more and more with my comedy too. Is just this is what I this is what I think. This is. Do you know that story about the deaf girl? The one you tell on stage. Yeah, yeah. You know, 
I haven't posted that because I was too worried and I'm going to, I'm going to record it in Columbus this week because I want to make one small change to it. But I was too worried about just reaction. One of the funniest jokes that to me I've ever told. It's probably my favorite. And even now at this stage, I, there are things every now and then I'm like, well, that's not me, but it is me. Right. It's me because I created it. Right. You know, hundred percent. And so, but I want you, and I'm hoping this podcast does this for you. I want you to develop the freedom that I'm just starting now to develop. Right. There's so much, um, life is so much easier. Right. You know, and yeah. I, I know it's harder, but like, it'll be something that I remind you about repeatedly. Like if I, if I ever hear you say something that I think sounds like me, I'm going to be like, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Cause to me, like the, the sooner you jump on that train, I think it's not easy, but yeah. Yeah. No, I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, when I talk about my opinions, I'm pretty strong on my opinions. I agree. I feel like if I want to voice something, uh, I definitely voice it with confidence. Yeah. Even though if I'm wrong, just like thinking the Hardy brothers were per the Hardy twins and not Ooh, the Hardy brothers. That's so good. Um, you know, I, I'll be confident until I'm proven wrong. Yeah. Um, just like the Bermuda Triangle thing too. You know yeah. how I knew that also? We watched something about it like a couple days ago. And so they had just drawn a map out. So I just knew, I knew that the tip of the Bermuda Triangle was off the coast of Florida. I love that. Yeah. But also it makes sense. Like the coast of Florida on complete digression. The coast of Florida is a scary place. You know why? Most recorded shark attacks anywhere in the world average a year off the coast of Florida. Which coast? The Florida's all coast. East coast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, the Gulf. It, isn't the Gulf? Wouldn't the Gulf have some shark attacks? And the Atlantic. Both of them. Yeah, but there's no, there's no Atlantic coast in Florida. I mean, uh, there's Atlantic. I mean, no Pacific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I was going to say. <laughs> I was like, there's no way we're about to have this conversation right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! Uh, uh, yeah, Thank yeah, yeah, God yeah. I didn't have to hit you with that. <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking about the that other day? That would have been the, the best clip ever if I had yeah. to teach you geography right now. Oh, could? Dude, you could. Geography is not my oh, real house. That's why like, I'm going to beat you when we <sighs> fill out the 50 states. We're gonna, I got to remind myself to do that. Um, you know what I was thinking about the other day? I think I told you about this. One of my fondest memories of you is you were in the, we, you know, I used to have, a, I had a minivan forever. Mm -hmm. We started with a Sienna. Sienna. We went to the Odyssey. Odyssey. We had the first version of the Sienna with the automatic doors. So yeah. it freaked people out. I uh, loved it. I, yeah, that I Sienna, I thought I was going to inherit it. I thought I was going to inherit either the Sienna, Sienna or the Odyssey. Which one would you like more? The Sienna just because of the nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, would, I think it would have been hilarious for me pulling up to a high school party in a 1997 Toyota Sienna. Fuck yeah. What was it in a 97? I didn't buy that in 97. What year was it? Well, I got my first big check in 99. Right, so. but was it a couple years older? No, dude. I got a big check in 99. Right, no. but a big check in 99 and a big check now, I feel like they're the yeah, inflation. In, yeah, dude, but the, I, it was adjusted to be able to buy a- Got it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, we bought that Toyota Sienna, boy, because we had been driving around in that Saturn with no air conditioning. And you guys just sat in the back and sweated. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. One of my fondest memories of you is in the back of that. It, we would, what we would do when we drove, guys, look, everybody got a song. A song. I wasn't going to listen to Kids Bop or Radio Disney. That shit wasn't happening. But if you wanted to pick out a song, you could pick out a song and we did it, right? But it had to be a song that like he had shown us or that he had known or one that we at least had. Yo. Because it was back when you had to have CDs. Yeah, exactly. And here's the deal. I know, look, and people are like, well, the kids, they the kids will listen to the music you play. It's up to you if you want to play kids bop and torture yourself. Yeah, 100%. But you could find something that they like. Yeah. And if you start playing it for them when they're three, that's the music they're, they're going to like. like by the time yeah, they're yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your own fucking doing. So I remember, and we used to play songs, but um, you used to love when I played a Bon Jovi song. Yep. And you would pick Bon Jovi because in, you never knew the lyrics, but you knew his name. So you would, instead of like, like, uh, oh. you, you would just say his name as the words. Right. Like at the beginning of, 
of uh, living on a prayer instead of dun 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 dun, dun, dun you would go John Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi, John Bon Jovi. That's hilarious. And you would just sing every Bon Jovi song. You would go, oh, John Bon Jovi. Not it bad. It was hilarious. Not dude. bad. I, I, I kind of still do that now, but not with the name of the person. So if I'm ever singing and I don't know the words of the song, like my girlfriend loves to say something like, like if she ever does something that's uh, like funny or just kind of out of like, out of the out of the blue, she'll just say bling blow. And I don't know why, but like bling blow for me it just makes me laugh. Yeah. So I'll start singing a song. So if I'll do the same thing, I'll be like bling blow, bling blow, bling blow, bling blow. And I'll just I'll, I'll just do that while I'm by myself or in the car or anything like that. Anytime yeah. I hear living on a prayer now, I think jump bun jovi, jump bun jovi. I'm gonna bring jump bun jovi. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back. <laughs> bring it back, dude. Bring it back. Um the Monday Night Show in Vegas, by the way, awesome. I'm going to hold auditions. If you're in Vegas or know anybody in Vegas, I'm looking for somebody who with weird skills, some off the beaten path uh, bit that they do okay. or, or, you know what I mean? Like somebody who, you know, acts like a turtle or just something weird that's also funny. I'm also looking for four, uh, let's call them... Uh, Beefy dudes, husky, husky dudes who are willing to dance naked, not naked, shirtless, shirtless with a bow tie a la Chris Farley SNL. Good reference. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if we can do it, I'm looking for four Chris Farley Chippendales dudes. Mm. Uh, and it's a, it's a weekly gig. Every Monday. Every Monday night, 930. I only need you for like literally two, four, mi two minutes. Not even. Well, I'm going to have them open the show. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not going to lie. Also, when you do like in that certain spot where they're, you know, not opening the show in that other area, right? I feel like they should be on stage the whole time. Yes. I like the entrance. Have them enter a couple lyrics in then. Don't have them enter halfway through. Yeah, it's too, not enough time, huh? No. And also they get, you got to make like, you know how you said, you know, Chippendales with the, the bow tie, they yeah. also just have to be more active on stage. I agree. They're, they're a little stationary. For me. Yeah. Well, also one of the dudes is skinny. Not, I mean, skinny to a point. I can see his whole chest plate yeah, when yeah, he takes yeah, yeah. his shirt off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's uh, not as much fun. No, not really. It, actually, it actually looks like you just have like a make a wish kid on stage, yeah. which is kind of sad. I want some bouncing bees or some happy C's cups. These are great too. Yo, dude, if a dude's whipping out D cups, I'm pretty excited about yeah. it. Yeah. But so yeah, that that that's my only thing. It's like I feel like ooh, you never get enough of them. I agree. But also I feel like they're never doing enough. Yeah. That would be my only thing. I think I think they're gonna I think they're gonna open the show. I, I picture them opening the show to a Billy Squire song. See if you can get them in like a barbershop quartet where they just do like a harmony and just sing you out. No, no, I want them dancing. I don't want them singing. I I do the singing. I want How them dancing. How funny would a would a husky, husky sized barbershop quartet be all shirtless looking like Chris Farley? Or what if they called themselves the Huskies? Or do the you know, Husky Quartet? Do you, that's hilarious. <laughs> or the know, barbershop Huskies. Husky used to be a style of jean. I wore Husky jeans as a kid. Were you a fat kid? I was a bigger, I, I was Husky for sure. We've talked about this. If somebody called you Husky when you were a kid, guess what that means? Yeah, no, 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 no. I had definitely, I was a Husky kid. I was a husky kid. My, I was not. No, my brothers definitely let me know that I was a husky kid. I, well, I, I bet they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was there was not a day that went by that that yeah. was not mentioned at least twenty times. Yeah, I can't wait till I have that clip to mention to Dan Wolf that he's not five ten. Dan Wolf is not five ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. There's nothing else to it. Now tell me something. You were telling me something about about um uh. Not your dog's name is Milo. Milo. Oh, Milo. okay. Okay. So I was gonna say Lilo. Well, that's close, and I'll tell you why. Okay. You're you're in the because remember how last time we talked about Milo, and I said if I could give him a comparison for a Disney character, it'd be Stitch. Yes. Lilo and Stitch is the movie. So you were there, right? Yeah. So I just got a text from my girlfriend before this started, um, and this is just some like it's really funny like lore, I guess, because we think he's the perfect comparison to Stitch, right? And in the movie Lilo and Stitch, he technically is an experiment created in the lab, but he's given a number. Do you know what number he is? Dude, no. 
I couldn't okay. remember Taxidermy. You think I remember a number from a movie? <laughs> Fair enough. He, his name, other than Stitch, is Experiment 626. Yeah. Okay. I just got a text from my girlfriend that we adopted Milo, who is our Stitch, on June 26th. Whoa. 6, 26. So we legit have our own little Stitch sitting at home, which uh, I think is really fucking cool. That is really cool, I dude. love that. He is just like, because we call him Stitch. He loves, and we get him Stitch toys. He loves the Stitch toys. He has a Stitch outfit. And now he is legit Experiment 626. Can you Google something for me that I just remembered? Sure. Because I want to make sure if you're going to say something that you're saying it correctly. And me too. Can you Google the definition of muse? I've always thought of that more in an artistic way. And I just want to make sure that if you're going to use that word in that way that you're using it right or if I can use it in different ways. I'm... I'm Pretty sure you can use it. Yeah, give me the definition. Oh, oh okay. I guess not. Uh, well, it says in Greek and Roman mythology. I don't think this is the right one. Each of the nine goddesses, the daughters of Zeus. Nope. Um, a person or personified force who is the source of inspiration for a creative artist. Mm. So I wouldn't say it's a source of inspiration for me. I would say it's a source of... Yeah, it's like... it's like, For you, it's like a... Um it's like a place where you go escape. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Muse is something that it provides in inspiration in a creative way. Right? Yeah. So 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 if you were I guess like if you were writing poems about your life. I guess the Xbox could be a muse. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever it is, it keeps me safe. I, I, I'm not saying that to... No, no, no. I know. I, I, I want to make sure that you're yeah, using yeah. the word correctly. That's and all. even if I'm not... Dude, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got to say to that. Even if I'm not. You know what's interesting? I, uh, I was listening to sports radio this morning. And they were talking about baseball and teams that were in first place. And they were mentioning all these players. I had never fucking... Dude, you and I haven't watched baseball in like four years. I, I was a guy, sports in general. I was a guy, I was so invested in all of my teams. Yeah. And I knew players on every, like if, especially baseball. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it is over the last four, it's got to be four years. Maybe four years ago, I, I, I stopped with the baseball package. I don't. I, 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 I think I know what it is. I'll even say... Like, I I can't even say this season. You know what? Uh, I'm done rooting. I'm done having blind loyalty. Like, this past offseason, and I've always kind of, I would check in with the Red Sox, and this past offseason, and all the players they've let go, and salary dumped, and with the richest owner, not maybe not the richest team, but he's the richest owner in baseball, and he's getting outbid by these I'm like, why are, why are they expecting blind loyalty from me when they're not even trying to win? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not I, trying I, to. I, so like that really, but, but, but I wonder, what do you think it is? Why? I think it's, you've been so career driven recently. I think you've been in the last four or five years, really crunching down and, and, and setting a, not a base, but like really trying to propel yourself to the spot, you know, you're supposed to be at. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like you've become, and which is great because you're still family oriented. You still do everything else in between. Right. But you've taken all of the other, what I would call distractions out of your life and just strictly set your mind to how can I make my career what I know it can be? Yeah. I really, does that make sense? It, it does because in the last four or five years, I've, we've in the last four or five years though, we've seen a crazy climb in numbers. Yeah. And a crazy climb in ticket sales and YouTube and views and all that stuff. But it's because you've put that time and effort into it instead of taking that hour and a half or two hours to watch a baseball game that you don't care about and possibly take a nap during. Definitely take a nap. That's during. what I'm saying. You've taken that two hours now into something else productive. So you're taking all your excess time. Like for me, that's video games for me. Yeah. Where my excess time is, I'm playing Xbox where I can. Yeah, because also like, you know, I'm with my girlfriend and I live with her and I'm out of town most weekends. So I try not to play as much. But for me, it 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 is something still that keeps me 
level, especially not being in the same state as any of my friends now. Yeah. It's the only way I can talk to people. Not only way, but it's like the only way I can have some sort of interaction to where it's like we're hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. for me, it's become something that really is like not needed and or necessary, but very much appreciated. And I can't thank my girlfriend enough because she was a gamer as well and she understands it. And there's never a point in time where I'm like, hey, I'm going to play some games where she's like, no, I don't want you to do that. Every time it's, yeah, okay, just let me know when you're going to be done. In past relationships, I had to ask permission a day in advance to be able to play. Like, like Let me for, just say, you didn't have to ask I didn't for have permission. to. But also, it's easier for me now to play video games because I play on a monitor. So I'm not taking up the TV. Yeah. Whereas if she wanted to watch TV, she could. In the past relationship, I didn't have a monitor. So it was either us watching TV or her watching me play video games. Are you... Does that make sense? Yes. Are you enjoying this part? The Are you enjoying the... I mean, I don't want, I want to call it a career because you haven't decided what you want to do. It's my career right now. Yeah. Are you enjoying the stand up and the podcasting and the, I mean, we, we, it's you're going to have to get back on your phone a little bit, but yeah, I are mean, you enjoying it? it I, it's a nice change of pace for me. I will say I, after not going on the road for a little while, I do miss going on the road. Yeah. I love, I love being at home, but I feel like I'm almost addicted to the laughs on stage now. To where if I'm not doing it every weekend like we did for a lot this first half of the year, yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. It's funny, yeah. Or I feel like I'm not doing enough, but I'm just, every day I'm like, I wonder what that is, and it's like I'm not, I'm not on the road. I'm, excuse me, I just burped six That's times. Right. That's right. Uh, I'm not on the road. I'm not doing that thing that I'm ch- currently chasing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I have a schedule, and you know, Mondays are certain days. Obviously, we do this either Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, Monday we have our show or your show, our show in Vegas. Um, we're gonna have to find a, 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 a niche for you in there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, because here's the thing again, the question asking, I just don't know if I, it agree. Is, I feel like if anything, you should have me like on a little side couch on stage, just like chilling there and reacting. And then we have banter of some sort that we have like not that. planned, but like topics that we can talk about I like that. To where it's like I'm, it's not like I'm chewy, but I'm chewy. Right. Right. Yep. I'm like the sidekick, but you got to give me some cool little sidekick area. Okay. I like that idea. Like Lunell's throne. Let me sit in Lunell's throne. No, you don't get to sit in Lunell's Damn throne, it. dude. Um, all right. I like this. But I, you know, it has to be something different. Or maybe like I come looking weird. Like I come dressed up in something. Like, you know, how you used to dress me up for chaos. Yeah. You dress me up for this show. I thoroughly enjoy that idea. Because there's so many cool thrift shops here. I love... The dress-up was so much fun, too. Yeah. This um, is a great idea. So that's that's what I think. Like, then, we'll bring that back. Because then people will be like, oh, I might want to interact with him more. Or, hey, where'd you get that outfit? Because if they ask, start asking me questions, it just still do you becomes think more comfortable for everybody that else. That would be something fun for you and Amon to do on Mondays to go to a thrift store. I give you $75 and you pick out an outfit. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do that. Bet. This is a great idea. Good job. Uh, Yo, it's... Uh, it's that time. All right, we got to go. That was quick. Um, again, everybody, uh, by the time you hear this, we will be in Columbus uh, or out of Columbus, something like that. No, we'll be in Columbus. We'll be we're, in Columbus we're, we're, we're this weekend. Drop. I think what the deal is, Matt, and correct me if I'm wrong, we record this on Wednesday. We'll get it on Thursday. We're actually going to drop these on Thursdays, and clips will be f- Friday, Friday and through. Um, okay. Is that that's kind of the schedule? Clips might take longer, but we'll have that episode. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. So by the time you hear this, we will be in Columbus. By the way, our flight just got delayed. Um, it did? I got a text message about it. Only about 40 minutes or something like that. But it's not going to fuck with our connecting flight, right? I don't know. I don't know what time our connecting flight is. You have all the info. Um, but anywho. Probably not um, a conversation we need yeah, to have. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we'll be in Columbus this, by the time you guys hear this. Uh, Columbus, we're super excited to see you guys. We always have a great time out there. It won't be snowing like it was last time we were there, so I'm very excited about that. Um, after that, we have first weekend in July. We're in Tampa. That is the 7th and the 8th at Side Splitters. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Comedian Josh Wolf uh, for tour dates and tickets. What were you going to say? Yeah, we're good for our connecting. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. If I can figure out my Xbox shit. By the way, when we drop this, 
I'm going to clip this problem that I'm having. If anybody has a solution, for the love of God, I will send you a t-shirt. Or Internet, something. do your thing, man. Internet, so, do your somebody thing. Somebody help me, please. That's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys. Again, rate, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit that little bell so you know when our episodes hit. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a rate. All of that good shit. We and, love you guys. And I want to tell you, I'm, I am truly grateful for all of you. I I mean that with all sincerity. I'm grateful for this podcast and to be able to do what I do. And I'm truly grateful for all of you who are listening and coming out to the shows and watching our videos. Yeah, it's super cool. Um, and uh, we'll see you out there. Yeah, and I'm I'm again also very grateful. Grateful also very much for you for being able to give me an opportunity to have a platform for myself. Uh, we just hit 60,000 followers on Instagram. We? Me. Yeah. Me two days ago. Um, but that also goes out to all you guys. Uh, none of it would be possible. This confidence I have obviously is possible without it. But the fact that I have a bunch of people uh, behind me and behind us and what we're doing and love what we're doing, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, man. So 100%. thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Columbus, get ready. All right, everybody. Later. Love Later. you.